let's just get right into it. I'm using r r Lip Balm to moisturize my lip and go ahead with Anastasia Beverly Hills on the high points of my cheek where I normally highlight. So on my cheekbone and on my forehead, my nose, my chin just to be extra. This highlighter is everything. It's soft, it's illuminating, I just love it. I'll go ahead and use my NARS foundation. This is the All Day Luminous Foundation. It's quite red, but then in the end, it looks good. I'll be blending it out with XOXO Rosé's Beauty Sponge called the Borsu Blender 2. I'm going ahead to use my Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut under my eyes or my nose or my forehead. I'm contouring now with Lancome's darkest shade. I don't know the shade because it was a sample, but that's what I'm using to contour, to cream contour. Let's blend this out. I'll be using Laura Mercier's Translucent Medium Deep Powder to set my under eyes or highlighted areas basically. And go ahead with Patricia Bright and Makeup Revolution's Face Palette and use that to bronze my face. This one is the palette called You Are Gold. I'm using Evita Joseph's Eyebrow Pencil Aspect Brow Liner in the shade 2 and using CVL Beauty's brush to conceal under my brows just to neaten it up and also on top of it. For the start of the show, I'll be using Evita's Lip Gloss in the shade Winger as my Fenty Beauty hack for a cream blush. This lip gloss is everything as a cream blush it gives you that illuminating look just like the fenty cream blushes if you watch the videos that's been going around you notice that all the fenty cream blushes have this shine it has this shine to it and it gives it a little bit of a color payoff sometimes a lot depending on the blush you go for and this just looks so pretty on the cheeks definitely try it out so this is my hack for Fenty Beauty's cream blushes using a lip gloss, specifically a Vita Joseph lip gloss in the shade Winger. Hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.